In this video, we'll discuss unilateral neglect disorder or hemiagnosia. So, what's hemiagnosia or hemi neglect or unilateral neglect disorder? It is defined by an inability of a person to process and perceive stimuli on one side of the body or environment. What's agnosia? Agnosia is inability to process sensory information and recognize objects. Patient may fail to dress, shave or groom one side of the body, especially the left side of the body commonly. Patient may fail to eat from the left side of the tray and may fail to read the left half of the sentences. See here in this picture, patient wrote all the numbers on the clock on the right side. He didn't try it on the left. When asked to cut the line or center of a line, he cut the center of the right half of the line. And when and this in the second one, he cut the lines on the right side and couldn't cut the lines on the left side of the picture. So this is here the normal picture when the patient asked to draw, he, he couldn't draw the left side of the picture. What is anosognosia? Some patient may deny the existence of hemiparesis and may even deny the ownership of their paralyzed limb. This is known as anosognosia. Majority of the patient with Naglock syndrome show improvement within first few weeks. When does the hemispatial or hemineglect disorder occurs. Damage to one of the hemispheres most commonly from either it occurs from a stroke often in the area of the middle cerebral artery or from a unilateral traumatic head injury of the cerebral hemispheres. Which parts of the brain are involved in orientation to extrapersonal space? Orientation to extrapersonal space is achieved by cortical and subcortical components. There are three cortical components. Number one, the cingulate cortex provides access to the limbic motivational mapping of the extrapersonal space. Number two, posterior parietal cortex to the sensory motor representation of salient extrapersonal events. And number three, frontal eye field to motor strategies for attentional behavior and there is inability to plan and execute normal behavior. And what are the subcortical components? The subcortical components include striatum and thalamus. Why the neglect most commonly occurs on the left side? The right hemisphere directs attention within the entire extrapersonal space that is on the both side whereas the left hemisphere directs attention mostly within the contralateral right hemispace. That's why the left hemisphere lesion do not produce the symptoms, whereas right hemispheric lesion produce left hemispatial neglect. The left hemisphere is also concerned with the language. Damage to these areas causes contralateral hemispatial neglect that causes three basic behavioral neglect components. Number one, sensory events that affects awareness but to a lesser extent. Number two, paucity of orienting X in the neglected space. And number three, patient behaves as if neglected hemispace is motivationally devalued. What's the difference between hemianopsia and hemineglect? Hemianopsia is due to damage to the primary visual pathways and neglect is the damage to the processing areas. Neglect also affects memory and recall as well. The Balint Syndrome Especially bilateral posterior parietal lobe lesions produce severe hemispatial disorientation in which there are three deficits. 
visuo motor apraxia or psychic paralysis of the gaze there is deficit in the visuo motor scanning in the environment difficulty in fixing fixating the eye on an object number 2 optic apraxia or optic ataxia inaccurate reaching the visual targets inability to move the hand to a specific object by using vision optic ataxia is the inability to guide the hand towards an object using visual information and the third point in the balance syndrome or third feature in balance syndrome is simultaneousia in our see only one object the patient see only one object in simultaneousia there is inability to integrate visual information in the center of the gaze with more peripheral information there is inability to see whole visual field and cannot describe the whole object there is inability to perceive the visual field as a whole it impairs the ability to perceive multiple items in a visual display the patient is unable to grab an object while looking up the object due to a discoordination of the eye and hand movement has defective hand movements under visual guidance despite normal limb strength trying to grab the object as if he is trying to grab in the dark and once the hand touches the object he grabs it the patient misses the forest for trees he misses the larger letters because the identification of the larger letters cannot be confined to the immediate line of gaze the patient misses the immediate line of gaze for the larger letters the here the patient circles the smaller letter a only and he doesn't encircle the bigger letter a why because these bigger letter a's are not in the line of gaze of the patient why balance syndrome occurs and what are the causes of the balance syndrome the balance syndrome result from bilateral dorsal parietal lobe infarction between the territories of the middle and posterior cerebral arteries that is the watershed areas in the occipital parietal region and a cause is their hypoglycemia and hypotension and sagittal sinus thrombosis syndrome the bilateral dorsal parietal lobe lesion also cause number 1 dressing apraxia patient is unable to align the body axis with the axis of the garments and number 2 construction apraxia Patients have severe difficulties in copying simple line drawing.